everybody. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play Down on the Street by the Stooges off of the Fun House record. Um, there you go. <laughs> um, so before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every week, and here we go. All right, so the key's in E, and uh, you're going to want a guitar. Like, this one's got a P90 on it. You're going to want, like, a really kind of noisy pickup. Um, bridge, use the bridge pickup and um, you're gonna want a lot of reverb on your amp um, for this song and so it just starts out with like a muted a palm muted E but actually the very beginning there's a slide so you can go so basically you just slide and you can play it either way you can play it just the, the low open E muted or it's it's tough to tell, but it sounds like he may also be playing the second fret on the A strings. So, like the power chord. So I like to play it like that. And then you're gonna do this pull off part, and, uh, and this is the, the all the way through the verse. So you're gonna do this muted part. So uh, what you're going to do is you play that muted, and then you're going to play the open strings on the D and G strings. And then you're going to just put your fingers over the, the um, E and D strings on the second fret. It sounds like to me he's also muting the G string when he when he uh, does that hammer on. So you're kind of muting it with your ring finger while also playing an E chord. So that's basically it for the verse. Or uh, actually, you know what? There's a, a bend, so he. Uh, play it like this. And so you're going to bend at the G string and then you're going to release. So you're going to bend up, down, and then release. Um, so that's basically it for the verse, and then the chorus is going to go uh, like this. I'll play it real slowly. I'll, I'll play it full speed at first, and then I'll play it slowly. So slow down, it's just basically this, it's power chords. And then at the end you're going to play that, that uh, E right there. Um, and that's pretty much it for the chorus, it's just a simple power chord progression. There's a second guitar in the background that plays this bend, so it's... And that's going to be at the 14th fret of the G string, and you're going to put your uh, pointer finger on the 12th fret and your ring finger on the 14th fret, and you're going to bend, and then do a pull-off, kind of like you did with the, with the, on the second fret before. And that part goes in the chorus right here. So if you wanted to play, you could do kind of hybrid of both parts, it's a little tricky, um, but you could play that bend in instead of the chords over that part. Um, and that 
would sound cool like if you were doing a cover and you wanted to kind of do both guitar parts. All right, so the next part is the solo. And when we get to the solo, um, it's gonna be two guitars. Um, so rather than actually playing the solo the, the way it is on the record and showing you uh, both separate parts, I'm gonna show you kind of like a hybrid of how you can play to make it uh, sound like how Ron Ashton's playing, because he plays both parts just on two different guitars. And um, you, it's, it's basically like kind of an ad-lib lead, and it's gonna be based in E. So there's gonna be a couple different elements um, he starts down a little bit lower, and there's a cool little pocket in the E scale where you can play with your um, middle finger on the 9th fret of the G string and your first finger on the 8th fret of the B string. And then so you have this. And then you can play on the 10th fret with your ring finger of the B string. So Ron will play something like that on one guitar, and then he does this kind of cool little thing where it's kind of like a little bit noisy, and it goes. So then you're gonna do a lot of bends. So you, like you can do a part, a lower part in the pocket where you're just kind of playing around here. And then there's a, another position. The next position he's gonna he uses is on the B and E strings with at the 10th and 12th fret, and you can play on that E scale here and here. And then he's gonna move up to uh, the 12th fret where you're kind of in a traditional uh, position for the E uh, pentatonic scale, which is what he's using. And then, and then he kind of ends up on the 17th fret. So I'm going to play this um, like kind of all the way through the way I kind of would ad lib it to play it. And then um, I'm gonna sh uh, like the tab is gonna show you the different positions that I'm using when I'm when I'm playing those parts, so you can kind of see um, like where you're gonna kind of ad lib like within what range when you're playing. So he's gonna play something like this. So again, you can play that a, a bunch of different ways. It's, it's just a lot of bends in those kind of three positions. Um, there's other notes that he puts in there and you can you know, play around it, just use the, the different positions of the E minor pentatonic scale and uh, kind of figure out your own way. But like when there's two guitars playing, it's, they're doing such kind of different things that it overlaps and makes that cool, cool sound. Um, but it's really hard to kind of recreate that on just one guitar. And then at the very end of the song where it's kind of like fading out, um, Ron Ashton plays like a, a few like mini kind of like bends. And uh, he plays right here. Um, so again, that's the 14th fret of the G string, bending off and pulling off to the 12th. And then as it's going out, he does another bend there, except without pulling off, so he'll just go with this big bend. And then he does it on the 15th fret of the B string. And then he'll do it on the 15th fret of the E string. And then I think he does like another one at the 14th fret of the G string going out like And then the song just kind of fades out. Again, those three notes are, are in the E minor pentatonic scale. Um, so yeah, pretty basic stuff within that, that scale. Uh, there's no like tricky uh, change of key or anything like that. But um, again, most of that song's ad lib. If you listen to like a lot of the outtakes from that album, th there's the different versions have different uh, have a different feel to them, and he's basically just sticking within that E minor pentatonic scale um, and doing a lot of big bends uh, throughout that song with those double guitars. 
Um, so that's it for this lesson. Um, I'll be posting the tab up for this lesson. Uh, the link will be in the description of the video. And remember to like this video on YouTube and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every week.